What's up my fellow small business supporters? I'm Savvy. Welcome back to Savvy Writes Books, the channel where we talk about books and business. Today is going to be focused on business because we have another anti-MLM video for you guys today. I guess I should have said what's up my fellow boss babes because we're going to be boss babe-erific today. So let's do it. Get you some nuts. There was lots of memes. Makes me wonder if I should pick up lesbianism. Chicago. You guys um, asked for it. Today we are going to talk about all kinds of boss babe related things from being an Usborne Books consultant to selling Arbon powders to trying to recruit people in your downline to trying to recruit people into your course about how to coach them into making their own course about how to coach other people to make their own pyramid scheme. But before that I just wanted to say that I feel like I look really cute today and part of that I think is these new glasses that I have. Do you guys like my new glasses? Because they're from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by glassesusa.com. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got some new glasses, including my first ever pair of prescription sunglasses, which is something I've wanted to get for a long time. By cutting out the middleman, glassesusa.com offers over 10,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, and more, at up to 70% off retail prices. I had a really good experience picking out these glasses on glassesusa.com. Selecting new glasses can be kind of difficult for me sometimes because my head is really large. So as a result, when I'm at a store or at the eye doctor, I often struggle to find glasses that look good on my humongous dome. But since GlassesUSA.com has such a vast selection, I was able to find these glasses that fit my face perfectly, along with two pairs of prescription sunglasses. For my main glasses, I got the Muse Kentucky style, and then I loved these frames so much that I ended up getting the same frames as sunglasses as well. Plus, the Muse Zinger sunglass style. If you're like me and you struggle to find glasses that fit your head or your face shape, you can try using GlassesUSA.com's virtual try-on tool where you can upload a picture of yourself and see how different glasses frames might look on your unique face. GlassesUSA.com also offers other features for your glasses like blue light blocking glasses, which are ideal for protecting your eyes at home, work, or outdoors, and also include glare prevention and UV block. They also offer contact lenses with 25% off of contact lens brands like Vista Plus, AccuView, and more. Plus, shopping at GlassesUSA.com is risk-free. In addition to offering free shipping and free returns, GlassesUSA.com also offers a 100% money-back guarantee within the first 14 days. If you're interested in shopping for some new glasses or finally getting a pair of prescription sunglasses like me, go ahead and click on the link in my description below. I hope you have as great of an experience shopping for glasses as I did. Thank you again to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. So thank you to my sponsor, Glasses USA. In addition, thank you so much to all of my Patreon supporters for supporting this channel. Patreon supporters, names are up on the screen and in the description below, people who donate $5 a month and up can link whatever they want of their own stuff in my description below. Some of them have their own small businesses or YouTube channels, so please check them out because they all do really great work. Now, let's get into to the anti-MLM business. This one first I thought was funny. This is not actually an MLM or post, but in the spirit of the fact that just this past Monday I did a video reviewing the book Cultish by Amanda Montel, I found this post under one of the pyramid scheme related hashtags where she made this really funny meme, which is a Venn diagram and in the center it says cultish Halloween costume ideas and they were undead LuLaRoe retailer, soul cycler who just suffered a grotesque unclipping industry, Joe Rogan simply existing. And then we have uh, uh, cross sections in there. So like between Soul Cycler and Joe Rogan, there's Pukey the CrossFit Clown in the middle there. So I guess if you want to combine those, that's what you get. If you want to combine Undead LuLaRoe Retailer and Soul Cycler who just suffered a grotesque unclipping industry, you get Mormon Momfluencer gone homicidal. I guess Mormon Momfluencers and Momtrepreneurs tend to do a lot of soul cycling. And then if you want to cross over the LuLaRoe Retailer with Joe Rogan, you've got Suburban anti-vaxxer holding a protest sign that reads, I'd rather die of COVID than live in fear of it. So those are those cultish Halloween costume ideas. Which one of those should I do? Which one? 
All of it. I'm kind of leaning towards Undead LuLaRoe Retailer, but I think I did give away all the LuLaRoe clothes that I wore on this channel when we did LuLaRoe Week on Your Morning Guru and when I reviewed the Lula Rich documentary. People sent me their old LuLaRoe clothes. I think I got rid of all of them because they were taking up space in my closet. I'll figure it out. I could also just be Joe Rogan. What do I do? Just walk around smoking weed, being bald, eat hot chip and lie? That doesn't sound hard. Now let's get into some posts from MLMers. This post says, remember, if you play small, you stay small. It's okay to want more. Do more for yourself. I remember I used to think that making six to seven figures was so far-fetched and unattainable. I knew one day I would get there, but it just felt so far away. I'm so thankful that the moments of uncertainty, I found strength in Christ to be able to push me for days like today. Are you ready to do something different? Let's talk. And then it's all the hashtags are hashtag entrepreneur, hashtag life, hashtag life as opposed to what hashtag death. <laughs> well, to life. Hashtag mom, hashtag mom life, hashtag work from home. And then you just got a whole bunch of things there. We've got hashtag crypto, hashtag investing, hashtag network marketing, all of those things. So let's break this post down a little bit. Making six to seven figures was so far-fetched and unattainable. Six to seven figures of what, when? I'm assuming if you're, you're saying six to seven figures the way most people do, you mean six figures as in a hundred thousand dollars and seven figures as in a million dollars and up. One million dollars. I'm assuming that's what you mean. I'm assuming you're not being creative with the decimal point, because if you're being creative with the decimal point, we've got a whole new set of lies there. I just tried to think creatively. Now, when you say six to seven figures, do you mean every year, every three years, every 10 years, every month, every week? Because making six to seven figures a month versus six to seven figures every 10 years, that's vastly different. And since you didn't give me a time frame, all I can assume is that you mean six to seven figures over the course of my entire lifetime. So I don't know about that. Are you ready? to do something different, let's talk. So this post is implying that if you talk to this mom entrepreneur, that she is going to be able to help you make six to seven figures by helping you find the strength in Jesus Christ or something like that. So I went to her profile and look at her entrepreneurship stuff and what she does. It looks like she does crypto investing, Arbon, and Kangen Water. So all of those things. She's in three different MLMs. I'm assuming the crypto investing thing that she's in is an MLM too. A lot of crypto investing schemes are MLMs right now. That's not to say that all crypto will always be bad. I have a lot of reservations about it, but a lot of people who are out here claiming to be crypto investors and experts in trading crypto and things like that, you, you gotta be a little skeptical. And then on top of that, she's selling Arbon. That's an MLM. She's selling Kangen Water. Are we serious? Okay, so three different MLMs over here. So I'm assuming if you message her to learn how to make six to seven figures in an unspecified amount of time, that she's gonna probably try to recruit you into one of those things or sell you some crypto or something. So stay away. Don't get scammed. As you guys know, I have a special place in my heart. And by a special place in my heart, I mean there's a special place in hell for Us Born Books and More, the multi-level marketing company that sells children's books. I first started having an issue with them when I would be selling my children's books that I write myself and that I publish myself because I have my own business where I create the products myself. I would be selling my own books at local craft fairs, local festivals, things like that. And I've heard from other authors as well that, you know, companies like Us Born Books coming into those craft fairs and taking up spaces and just normalizing having MLMs and network marketing style companies at those events has made it so that people don't by default assume that the person behind the table is the creator of the thing anymore. It used to be when you'd go to a craft fair, you see some jewelry, you'd go up and say, oh my God, did you make this jewelry? Tell me about your jewelry making process. That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Nowadays, people are here selling paparazzi jewelry for $5 because it's mass produced. And then you walk up to it and you have to almost behind the the table, you have to tell people that you are the creator of the thing because that's no longer assumed because people are taking over these things with MLMs. It's just kind of ruined the flow of craft fairs and festivals and how customers interact with you, which is really hard on actual small business owners. So anyway, I have an issue with Us Born Books because it's made it so that I have to tell people I'm the author of the books. I have to say that to like every person I meet and then they go, oh my God, really? Wait, that's cool. Because now there's this expectation that you might just be reselling other people's books. So Us Born Books has a special place in hell in my heart. And then when I was looking at new Us Born Books posts, wouldn't you know it, the first one I saw is in Polish. You guys probably know I've been trying to learn to speak Polish for about a year. I'm not very good at it, but let's see what we've got. <laughs> You can read it. No, I was just clearing my throat. 
And it says Chesh to, and then it has her name. We'll block that out. Toya provajde dla vas chitam djetom zazvichai vidice minye tilko la story ale Ah, guys, I'm sorry. I'm really bad at Polish. <laughs> anyway, basically what this post is saying is that she joined Us Born Books and More and she joined, I don't believe Us Born Books and More, the MLM has their own Polish division. So I think she joined the English division. I'm not sure if by English she means the UK one or the US one, but a lot of the books she's selling are in English. So I just had to like take a look at this post because I was like, oh wow, I'm over here looking at Polish stuff. This just comes up on my Instagram. So I'm learning Polish and I'm writing books and I'm doing anti-MLM stuff. And next thing I know, They've got the Polish moms too. Anyway, don't join us born books. I've done a whole deep dive on them as a company. I'll uh, link it up in the cards. Network marketing has created more millionaires than any other industry in the world. Not only is it here to stay, it's growing exponentially. And then it says tag someone who needs to be reminded of this today. Now, first of all, that sounds a little passive aggressive. I'm not sure if by that you mean tag someone as in tag the haters in your life, tag your mom, your spouse, your sister, the people in your life who you're going to have to cut out pretty soon because they're not supporting your MLM business, tag them so that they know that you're going to be a millionaire soon. Or I don't know if it's supposed to be driving engagement, like tag your downline so that they don't give up and they actually keep investing more money into this company and losing more money on your behalf. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but either way, citation needed, dude. Network marketing has created more millionaires than any other industry in the world. Citation needed. What are you defining as network marketing here? Are you defining all direct sales type of things, even when there's only one level, such as affiliate? marketing or sponsorships or things like that? Or are you exclusively meaning the multi-level marketing structure, which is what most people refer to as network marketing nowadays? And when you say any other industry in the world, are you talking about every network marketing company combined? What other industries are you comparing that to? And are you talking like per capita, like in terms of per amount of people that join, or are you talking about total number? And also, I just don't believe you either way, regardless of which thing specifically you mean, citation needed. Where did you come up with that? You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? So I've heard a little bit about this MLM before. It's called The Body Shop at Home. The Body Shop at Home is about friendships, love, unity, acceptance, and of course, amazing products. Our core values are what everyone should believe in and the world would be an even more beautiful place. I hate when these companies talk about, it's about friendship, it's about love, it's about unity. It's about selling things, it's about trying to make money. If any of these MLMs were truly about friendship, they wouldn't be encouraging you to try to constantly harass your own friends and family to spend money on these things. Now, I found this post under the hashtag savvy business owner. I hate, I've, I've ranted about this so many times, I hate how MLM companies have just completely brigaded, just completely taken over the hashtag savvy business owner tag on Instagram because I used to love using savvy business owner because it's perfect for me because my name is savvy and I'm a business owner and I wrote a book called savvy business owner and I use that hashtag for my book but then people are just like, they took our job. Nope, you are not savvy, you are not a business owner. I'm savvy, I'm a business owner, your MLM is not your own business. But here's what the caption says, build your business your way. Work as much or as little as you want and boss it whether it's a side hustle or a full-time gig. All that matters is that it's your very own startup and that you have fun earning as you help build a fairer and more beautiful world. It's not your own startup. It's not your own startup. A startup would refer to a company that you started up. Hence why it's called a start up. It's a company that is a newer company. That's something that's just starting up. In what universe is an MLM company your own startup? Like the Guardian. Someone else founded that company. Work as much or as little as you want. That's always such a, a cop out. It's always such a manipulation tactic because a lot of MLMs will say, oh, you don't have to work that much. You can work part-time hours and earn a full-time income. And then when you're actually losing money and earning nothing at all, it's like, well, what did you expect? This is your own business. This isn't just a job. You don't just phone it in. It's disgusting. More under the savvy business owner hashtag. In 2018, I gave someone a three month payment plan of $216.67 a month to do four one-to-one -one calls. Yesterday, someone paid me $2,777.77 for a 30 minute call. <laughs> Why are there so many sevens? At this point, it's like, are you doing this as a joke? Is this supposed to be a joke on purpose? 
purpose because it's like you're a parody of yourself. All of these MLMs try to end things in a seven and you're like $2,777.77. Why, why was that the price you chose? Why not 78 cents? Why not 76 cents? You just gotta just overload us with the sevens. So this is basically the person saying the caliber of client you're attracting and the price people are willing to pay is usually not always a mirror of what we are actually a match for. Far too many coaches are trying to skip the steps of building a reputation, building a brand, the actually process? The actually process? Do you mean the actual process? Do you mean the actualization process? What is the actually process? Leadership and humility. Okay, so this person is charging an obscene amount of money for coaching calls. I went to her profile. I don't quite understand what she coaches. She coaches you on how to be a coach. She coaches you on how to run a business in this very vague sense. I don't understand what she's coaching exactly, but she sure is charging a whole lot of money to do it. Money. So then this is what the second slide on her Instagram photo says. The demand changed. In 2018, I had zero demand. Today, more people want to work with me, but I only have limited time and I hate calls, so it's extremely exclusive, but that's another story. So the price needed to increase to match the demand. The type of demand also changed, a new level of client. The new client is a reflection of my growth, as it should be. So I'm over here like, you're charging people nearly $3,000 to talk to you for 30 minutes and you're openly on social media like, I hate doing these calls. I hate calls. I hate having to talk to my clients. My clients are so fucking stupid. I hate having to talk to them. Talking to them is the worst. I charge them so much money just for the pleasure of talking to me because I just hate every single step of it. Ah, I'm just messing with you, man. You can do whatever you want. I was just kidding you. That is so disrespectful. Are you trying to like neg your customers? Are you doing customer pickup artistry? Dude, that's gross. I was just disgusted by that. So she continues, look inward. What are you actual ready for? Wait, okay, hold up. Earlier in this caption, you said the actually process. And now you're saying, what are you actual ready for? Is this a joke? Are you just switching actual and actually? Like, did you do that on purpose? Or did you just happen to twice in a row use the wrong one, even though you had to use the other one the other time? The actually process. What are you actual ready for? What? Well, I try not to proofread people's Instagram captions because my Instagram captions have typos. My Instagram captions don't use proper grammar all the time. It's, it's so social media. It's not that big of a deal. But that's just weird. That's just weird. I've heard before that sometimes people do this on purpose. They will include typos like that because I've heard this with scammers, especially. You will intentionally include typos and spelling mistakes because people who often think critically about what they're reading while they're reading it will pick up on those right away and say, mm, this doesn't seem legit. And then they'll be skeptical of the whole process. Meanwhile, pe the people who don't pick up on those mistakes are more likely to just be trusting of you in general because they're kind of just going going through it at lightning speed and being trusting of everything they read. So they often want to attract those people that aren't going to notice the spelling mistakes. So they often put them in there so that they don't waste their time with someone who's going to figure out their grift too quickly. That's what I've heard before. It could be true here. Network marketing isn't just for people who want to quit their nine to five. It's also career insurance just in case your nine to five quits you. And then shout out to this commenter under this post who said it's actually the complete opposite of that. All the money and still be so ignorant. It's embarrassing to be rich through a pyramid scheme. It's worse than being right by selling drugs. At least as a drug dealer, you don't have to lie to people and you are selling a desirable product. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, the whole network marketing isn't just for people who want to quit their nine to five. It is not career insurance. Network marketing is one of the riskiest things you can go into. And it's not even high risk, high reward the way that some investing is. It's like high risk, maybe moderate reward if you were lucky enough to be one of the early people into it. Network marketing has almost no chance of reward if you didn't join early on. That's just how the math checks out. Watch my Ponzi-nomics review if you need more information on that. So to, to sell it as this career insurance, especially in a time when a lot of people are struggling to find work, We've had a lot of economic issues all around, the, the world's pretty fucked right now, right? So a lot of people might be worried about their own career security. So trying to sell people on an MLM as a way to have career insurance is so disgustingly exploitative because it's not career insurance in case your nine to five quits you because the MLM, once again, is not your own business. You are only making an amount of commission that is assigned to you by the company. You have to sell those products at the prices that they tell you to sell them at and then 
other people recruited you into that company, so you're going to have to be the competition of the person who recruited you and the person you recruit. There's gonna end up being too much supply and not enough demand. You're probably gonna end up losing money because you're going to have to pay for your own inventory or pay membership fees, and then they'll probably end up pressuring you to pay to go to some kind of training course or summit or something. No, if anything, it's gonna put you deeper into debt. Don't do it. Stupid dog! You made me look bad. If you start a network marketing business and you don't like it, it's not a big deal. Your life doesn't change. But if you start a network marketing business and you do like it, your life will never be the same again. So the first part of this is definitely not true because even if you don't like the company, your life might change because you might end up wasting a ton of money. Money. You guys remember Lula Rich, the original Lula Row starter kits were in the thousands of dollars. And while most starter kits are less money than that, you still very well could end up losing money depending on how much time you stay in it. And if you decide that you do like it, you're just enjoying the process of selling things, you're enjoying the friendships that you make, your life will never be the same again. That's not necessarily in a good way, right? So maybe that's true, but that's not to say it's gonna change for the better because you could just be losing more and more money, especially if you do like it and wanna stay in it for longer, you're gonna lose more money. All right, I want to finish off today with a story that someone sent me in my Instagram DMs about Grant Cardone doing an MLM adjacent type of program. And this is one of the worst ones I've seen. So this person's chosen to remain anonymous, but they sent me this in the Instagram DMs. They said, I'll give a quick overview and you can tell me if you need more details. I have an old friend from school who recently became a Grant Cardone licensee. I don't think it officially is, but it has major MLM vibes. Out of nowhere, he calls me and asks about my new job. I unfortunately went into depth about my new job and what we do. Then at the end, it became a huge sales pitch to buy Grant Cardone training. Of course, I can't make that decision, but he forced me to cough up my boss's info and give inside secrets where Grant's training could potentially benefit our company. At the end, I felt so hurt and manipulated. I talked to my partner after and explained what happened. And luckily he told me I should text my friend and say, do not contact anyone at my company. I did that and he blocked and ghosted me. Grant's minions are coming for us regular people who work a nine to five and are using extremely manipulative tactics. I have literally never heard of it before, but Grant has these things called licensees, which are minions who sell his courses. I'm not sure if it is an MLM structure, but it gave me major MLM vibes. They use the same greedy and manipulative sales tactics that MLMs use. Almost even worse because they frame it as, well, if you care about your company, this training will help your company sales. So of course you need this 10K sales training. And if you say no, then you hate your job. So I was like, oh no, that's awful. I'll talk about this in a video. And the person just said to keep anonymous. And then I said, okay, tell me about some of these manipulative tactics you've seen. Because I mean, somebody trying to pressure you to give up your boss's contact information so that they can then harass and sales pitch other people in your life. That's a terrible way to treat your friends. And I'm so sorry that this person had to deal with with that. So they said the same tactic many MLMs use, which is pretend to care about your life, health, job to get you to open up, but then use that information to make the sale more impactful. For example, I love my job and was happy to talk about my experiences, some of the challenges we as a company are working through and how much I make. After I'm vulnerable and give up this info to my friend, he then spun that into reasons I should invest to spend over $10,000 in Cardone University. When I say I can't make that decision for the company and I have no money anyway, I felt pressured to give my boss's name so he could could reach out to them and have an in by saying this person told me about the struggles your company is having and think my courses could help. Cardone University and the licensees use the same sales slimy tactics door-to-door -door salesmen used to use by saying, oh, so your boss won't let you make a decision that could help the company grow? They're experts at giving a rebuttal to every objection and they are coming for us who actually enjoy their nine to five jobs. I would love it if nobody made the same mistake I did by just saying no and not giving up any information about your job, your compensation, etc. I felt so pressured and manipulated to give up information I shouldn't have. I am so worried that if or when he contacted my boss or others at my company, it can make it seem like I have my endorsement on Shady Grant Cardone, which I absolutely do not. I think people need to be extra firm in saying, do not contact anyone at my job to sell us on Cardone University. So I was like, thank you so much for sharing that with me, first of all. Second of all, that's extremely manipulative. People trying to use their friendship with you to guilt and pressure you into giving up information. And I think this has major MLM vibes after I I took a look at Cardone University and being a Grant Cardone licensee online. So here's what it said. Partner with the best sales trainer in the world. The Cardone licensee program is a way for you to partner with the strongest name in coaching and education space to coach, educate, and
inspire, and make money bringing Grant Cardone's message in your town, city, state, or country. You will be licensed to speak, coach, and consult any company anywhere in the world using the Grant Cardone sales curriculum, books, and online training program. So this sounds like selling tools on how to sell courses to sell training. There doesn't seem to be much of a legitimate product here. Plus, Grant Cardone is an extremely shady character. I've covered him on this channel. I have a whole playlist called Grant Cardone Exposed linked up in the card. Grant Cardone is often talking about MLM companies. He's speaking at their conferences. He's saying that network marketing is a great way to make money. He's always doing things like that. He's extremely shady with his tactics. He's the worst. We don't like Grant Cardone here. So what do you get if you attend Cardone University? Authorized Grant Cardone licensee. Use the GC name as an authorized Grant Cardone licensee. Use GC course books, workbooks, curriculums, keynotes, and PowerPoint presentations to reproduce Grant Cardone programs. Access to Cardone University. Build your own business. So when it talks about access to Cardone University, it says you will get full access to Cardone University and authorization to sell it. This is just like when I was talking about Andrew Tate's Hustlers University. The way that people are making money on Hustlers University is by making a commission selling it to other people. It sounds like it's the same thing here with Cardone University. You get the permission now to sell Cardone University once you buy into it yourself. This is the airplane game. This is a borderline Ponzi scheme. This is the oldest type of pyramid structure in the book. It doesn't even matter. It do Cardone University doesn't actually have to have any material. If what you're making money on is the ability to sell it to other people and then the main way that they make money is from having the ability to sell that to other people again, it doesn't matter if there's ever any actual product. It doesn't matter. The course could just be a blank screen. It could be an empty book. There doesn't need to be any actual material. So we don't like Grant Cardone here. Anyway, guys, be on the lookout because grifters like Grant Cardone are constantly coming up with new ways to try to scam more people out of money. So be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for people trying to pitch you MLMs. Know what types of language to look for in those posts and know that if someone is promising you something too good to be true, it probably is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And before you go, I want to give another quick shout out to my sponsor, USA.com. Guys, don't forget to check out that link in my description below if you're interested in getting some awesome new glasses like I did. I will see you guys again on Friday for another video, but in the meantime, please keep on supporting small businesses and not multi-level marketing companies and have a fantastic day today. Bye. Get you some nuts. There was lots of memes. Makes me wonder if I should pick up lesbianism. Chicago. You guys asked for it. <laughs>